Hey, this is Alexi Panos, author and narrator of the audiobook 50 Ways to Yay. I wrote 50 Ways to Yay because I love learning, growth, and personal development. And I recognized as I was getting messages from fans all over the world who loved my videos and loved having short, actionable tips to really take their life on that they wanted a book that reflected the same thing. And for me, this book represents the 50 tools that have been most effective in my life for truly transforming it from where I was to where I am. I know for me, I'm a reader. I've read thousands of books, but I get that most people these days don't like reading heavy books. So I wanted to make it short, actionable, and digestible for people to actually use it. So it wasn't just another book that they kept on the bookshelf, but it was one that they took on daily as a practice. The inspiration of the title, 50 Ways to Yay, it came from this word yay, because I say yay all the time. Anyone who knows me knows that I use that word like a thousand times a day. And yay isn't just about happiness. Yay is this feeling, this bliss, this joy where everything is just so good that there is no word that could encapsulate it. But yay, yay, it feels good. It feels childlike. It feels fun. It feels light. And that's what I feel like the world needs more of. I feel like there's so much suffering in the world right now because it's a reflection of the personal suffering that people are experiencing. And when we tap into our yay, our inner bliss, our inner joy, that joy can then radiate out and affect the world. It was so important for me to narrate this book myself because it's my words. It's my voice. You know, I'm a huge listener of audiobooks. I've got such a quirky way of writing and a special way of showing up, and I've got a lot of energy, and I needed to represent that. And the only way I could give it its credit is if I was here. (laughs) So I just feel like it's really important because it brings my words to life. And the readers and the listeners, I wanted them to actually get a taste of who I was and how I express these words and what these words mean to me. And when it comes through my voice, I think it lands in a different way. So that's why I did it. Narrating an audiobook is wildly different from being on TV or vlogging. First of all, I'm in like this awesome little closet soundproof box (laughs) that no one can see me. I'm in my sweatpants. You know, I'm like super chill and relaxed got a bunch of food and beverages around me. And it's really all about the voice. It's all about the energy. It's all about creating the experience for the listener with just the tonality, with the inflection, with your voice and using your voice as the instrument. And with television or vlogging, it's all about the combination of visual and audible. So it's a combination of both. But when we're watching with our eyes, our eyes really take in 80 percent of the information. So this is really incredible because it challenged me in a way where I got to deliver the information in a way that could still land for people without, you know, going to my comfort zone of using the visual and the cool locations and the movement and all that stuff that I do in my videos. The biggest thing I want listeners to get from listening to this book is that they are truly so beautiful, so powerful, so amazing and so worthy. and. Happiness is really a choice. I believe it starts with owning who we are. And when we stop trying to placate to what the world wants us to be and we start living up to and into the truth of who we are, then life begins to look a lot differently. So I really hope people fall in love with themselves and share that love with the world. (laughs) 